What's up guys, welcome to Football Talk Friday number seven. This week's play breakdown is double right, quick ace right, subway. It's a great first and 10 play, a great drive starter. We also break down the video of the 2013 St. Louis Rams running this week one against the Arizona Cardinals. As always, let's get better and I hope you enjoy. What's up guys, welcome to Football Talk number one. Right now we're looking at twins right, scat right, F shift. What you're gonna look for is your F on the shift. Football Talk Friday number seven. This week's play breakdown is double right, quick ace right, sublay. And the video breakdown we have for you guys is the 2013 St. Louis Rams offense, week one against the Arizona Cardinals. Let's jump into this thing. As you see, subway's in yellow, which means PSL pre slash post snap look. We've got subway out of quick ace protection. The play caller's purpose is completion. The footwork is three plant, and let's look at the progression. If we get three shell, we're gonna work arrow slant to the hob. Again, we'll detail this in a second. If you get two shell, we're gonna work one step slant, slant hob. The addendum is against quarters. Think that you're gonna take your arrow. Personnel formation protection play. Personnel is 11, meaning one back, which is our H. One tight end, which is our Y. Double right, remember anything with a D means two by two. So you see we've got our X and our F on the left. Those are our two receivers and our Y and our Z on the right. Those are our two receivers. That's what makes it a two by two. Our Y is obviously attached as the tight end. Protection is quick ace right and the play is subway. So let's start with our three shell progression. If you see middle of the field closed, meaning let's say the strong safety is high, free safety is down, they're giving us cover three weak. You're going to take a three plant and you're going to work your arrow. You're tight in on the arrow, one to two yards, aiming on the sideline. If he's not there, you're going to reset. You're going to work your slant, which is going to work vertical for three steps and then break across the corner's face. If they're not there, you're going to kick back. You're going to kick back, reset, and bang it to the hob, which is just your H over the ball at three yards. Now, if you get two shells, so think any cover two, um, really just cover two, you could throw it against cover five, which is two man. You're gonna work your one step slant, which is right here. So we've got our one step slant from our F, who's our slot receiver. They're gonna work up one step, break, and then they're gonna work through the near hip of the linebacker. So let's say our will is right here. They're gonna cross face and then work vertical through. That way, if the will carries, then we open up the outside slant, or if the will sits, we can hit him through this vertical window. Then you're gonna reset if the one step slant's not there and look to the X on the slant. He's working the same as the Z, that three steps crossing the corner's face. We have him as a wide alignment. And remember, as a slant runner, you've gotta be patient against press. Okay, then we're gonna reset one more time and kick back and get to our hob if we're working two shell. Addendum, so if you see quarters across the board, we want you guys to think arrow right away. They're not gonna have anyone in the flat with urgency. So just take your three plan, get it to your arrow. This is a great first and 10 play. Now let's go watch the Rams run this and we'll look at the tape. Looking at the tape, the first thing to notice is in your top left, the down and distance. It's first and 10. You guys know the personnel group, it's 11. Formation is double right, quick ace right, subway. What you're gonna see the Rams, they're gonna complete it for a 10 yard gain. So let's take a look at the initial shell. Remember this is a two shell, three shell play. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see a safety down right here. They've got a jam front and they've got linebackers walked up. They're a 3-4 team. We've got the safety in the middle of the field, meaning we need to work our subway side. The first thing you're gonna look at is this tight end on the arrow. You're gonna see Sam, he's gonna take a three plant and he's gonna hit the tight end on the arrow route. Let's go ahead and take a look. One, two, three, bang, stick it on him. He's gonna get up field. How great is that? So what you're seeing, obviously, the Cardinals right now, you're gonna see this corner, he's running. Now let's take a look at the slant. You're gonna see the corner, he's gonna run with the slant. And this linebacker is inside out on the tight end and that's what creates such a wide open receiver. Runs with the slant. Now he's inside out, it's wide open. Let's let it run. He's gonna go ahead and get 10 yards on a first and 10 play, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and look at the tight. Looking at the tight, Again, you see that we've got guard covered. We've got uh, four from this end. We've got our linebackers up on the sides. And then we've got our two linebackers in the box. You see the single high safety. He's starting to rotate. Once you get that rotation, one, two, three, get the ball out of your hand. That linebacker running in and out doesn't have a chance. Okay, so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this week's play breakdown of Double Right, Quick Ace Right, Subway, and we will see you guys next week.